Hi and welcome to Building My Model. Today we will do a start set challenge of the Heller Williams Formula 1 in 143 scale. The rules are simple. Use what's in the set, some water for the decals and a knife. And use as many parts as possible, no easy options here. Got this idea from uh, Model Minutes, all uh, kudos to him. This kit is quite old, from 2003, and um, well, let's see, tube cement I've not used since my teenage years, I think. So that will be interesting. A couple of pots of black and yellow paint, and a quite big brush. Hmm, let's see what this will end up like. Quite decent instruction sheet in the kit. The supplied paints were quite thick. I actually had to replace the black one with the spare one I had because it was solid, totally dried up. Quite thick paint, quite small details, and a big brush. Mm, this will be a challenge, but hey, you have to try, right? So first off, trying to get some paint on the rims, onto the build of the chassis, and I'm really already missing my sprue cutters. As no files or sandpaper are allowed in this type of challenge, I had to do what I could with my modeling knife, trying to get a lot of the flash off, which was quite much on this model. And then on to painting. And, uh, this lower part of the chassis should be almost all black except for just some tiny portions at the front wheels. Mm, I could have done with some masking tape here as well. Would have been really nice. I cut a piece of sprue as a glue applicator to be able to glue the small stuff together in a decent way. The driver figure had half of the head as a separate part. And the arms were joined to the hip and legs, and I decided to carve out as much as I could to make a little bit more decent representation of the driver. Then some more painting, yellow this time, very thick paint, but well, from a distance, it's not that bad. And the blue is decals, so that's good. There's a lot of decals in this kit. This one is for the helmet, and that proved to be quite a struggle. I don't know how you could be able to do this without decal setting solutions because it does not conform to the shape of the helmet. I struggled quite much with this, but it was not really a success. I even tried with some, after it dried up, with some glue to get it in a better position, but that basically dissolved the decal. Well, learning. Decals on the wheels actually turned out pretty good. So that was uh, actually a nice surprise. I thought that those would look quite bad, but they looked pretty good. This tube cement is not really the best way to do it. I'm glad that we have better 
stuff today. But it's really refreshing to doing a challenge like this because you appreciate how much better material and tools we have available today. It brings me back to my early teens in building. Decals were nice in register and how they looked, but quite a pain to shape them on these shapes on, on the car body. I realized that after applying this decal here on the rear wing, I had missed that the wing portion should also be black. So I had to paint that in afterwards. But that works as well. Doing in the front wing. You have to really be careful with the tube cement. It's so thick, and you don't want it all over the place. That's I used to get it when I started building models some 40 years ago or something like that. Alignment here was quite difficult as well. But I think I got a quite decent result in the end. Overall, I was really happy with accepting this challenge of making a model like could have done it 20, 30 years ago from a starter set. Today, I would spend a lot of time in detailing, airbrushing, and using aftermarket parts, and all this. But it's, although frustrating, it was quite refreshing to, in five and a half hours or something like that, I spent on this, getting a, well, five feet viewing distance, decent looking model, so a big thanks to Model Minutes, who put up the challenge. I have been quite late in this. I think he put up the challenge uh, some weeks before Christmas. I saw it uh, during the holiday season, and uh, I thought it was going to be a good kickoff of uh, my uh, restart in um, modeling. The model is quite dated. It has a lot of flash. Um, the fit is decent, but not really good. It's quite fiddly to get together in a good way. And the rules of the starter set challenge put an extra dimension on it when you have been doing much more detailed work earlier and you're used to using good tools and materials for your builds but overall really refreshing and rewarding to build something out of the box as it was intended from the manufacturer and with well not a good result but a decent result. Something that I can put back on the back of the shelf or maybe in a drawer somewhere. But hey, it looks like a Formula 1 car. Thank you for watching. 
if you like, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. So long.